Hello everyone, welcome to your second video today in another Roblox game development story. Um, we're going to make the automatic firing mode work, okay? So let's just get right into this. Go up to starter pack, go to firing, alright? So right now we've already got it set up to make it really easy to do this. All we gotta do is else if mode equals equals three. Now there's there could be a debate about this. Should we just make it else so that it fires automatic whenever the mode might be something other than one or two? Such as if somehow it glitches and it gets set to four or zero or a negative number or any other thing but one and two, should it fire automatic? You could argue that. But actually, for the sake of this tutorial, we will do that. We'll just do else. And there we go. Okay? So, else. Uh, we shouldn't really have reloading, should we? Eh, hey, yeah, we'll have reloading. Um, so, actually, we can just cut this. Paste it up here. Uh, outside of the if. So, we aren't just typing that three times. Uh, put reloading that value equals false there as well. Um, cut it out of here. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so in here, and we're also going to just cut this hum equals chart at humanoid because that's being used in each and every one as well. Um, get that out of there. You know what, let's just cut all of this except for the reloading time. Um, and, alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Alright, so now we're just moving target pause, look at, reloading, hum. In fact, we'll move hum, hum here again because that's how it used to be. All back here. And we'll cut mode and paste it here. That way it's next to this. Alright, we'll take this out. Well, wait. And, alright. There. And there, 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 and last but not least, automatic firing. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is a little bit different than normal. First off, what did we name the variable? Auto fire? Alright. Auto fire equals true. Set that first. Alright. Bert, now change this to auto fire. D, but we're also going to change that function to accept other parameters, all right, such as hum, and actually that may be it. Nope, in char, okay? So it's going to take the direction, the humanoid, and the character of the person shooting it. So we're going to change this to be D, hum, char. Now, we're going to cut or copy this target pause and stuff and we're gonna make a while auto fire do loop alright so you can make a while loop with a boolean other than just true it works just as well um sorry I was checking to see if you guys could still see me with the lighting gain dimmer in here um so while auto fire do this. So as long as this variable equals true, which right now it equals false, but if you'll notice, we changed it to true here right before we called this function. Um, while it's true, keep looping through this. But as soon as it equals false, you're done. Stop. And when does it ever equal false? Well, when you deactivate or release the mouse, it equals false. That's when. So while auto fire do end. Okay. Now, what we should also do, oh wait, we already kind of have our, yeah, we're good actually, because we already have reloading kind of as our debounce uh, for this. Alright, that was just touch-ups to make it look better. While auto fire do, uh, those are really far over, tab, 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 there we go, shift tab, sorry. Alright, 
And we don't actually need D because we're kind of figuring D out ourselves, aren't we? Um, yeah. Okay, we're good. And now, just fire, bullet, look at. And I believe that should be good. And we're going to do weight point. We're going to... Let's make this burst weight one, uh, five, and this just weight one. And that should be, should be, should be, should be good. Uh, we, we could customize the damage from each type of bullet by putting, I'm not going to actually do this, but by putting a uh, int value into the bullets as well and changing this remove bullet to take the damage of the uh, int value or we could use two int values and keep it with this random thing um, and put those into the bullet but we're not going to do that for the sake of the fact that this is already longer than most of my tutorials um, and it doesn't matter you guys hopefully by now if you've watched all of my tutorials I would have failed if I couldn't have taught you guys the logic of being able to do things on your own I know I show you guys how to do specific stuff all the time I don't want you guys to only do that. I want you guys to also branch out and learn how to do things on your own. Because otherwise, you never learn anything useful. Okay? So please try to make, try to learn how to do things on your own also. I'm always here to help if you need it though. Okay? So, burst fire, auto fire. Alright, we're good. And now we're just going to press F6, and we're going to cross our fingers, and we're going to try all three firing modes. And if it all works, we'll be in luck. If it doesn't, uh, debugging isn't going to be easy because I don't think there's anything wrong with the script. All right? Let's pull out our light. We've got semi-auto right now. Fire, fire. Okay, it's working just like it used to. Burst. Fire. Okay, it's firing all three of those. Just like it should. Automatic. There we go. I When I first did this and it looked more like burst, it's because I just clicked once. But if I hold it, look at that, guys. It's just firing rapid fire and it's going everywhere my mouse goes. It's working awesomely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect it to work this well, actually. Again, I've never made guns by myself before. I've always free modeled them because I'm too lazy to come up with how to script them. I can't build a gun to save my life. All kinds of stuff like that. But this is actually working really, 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 really well. Isn't it? Alright, so this is the end of our gun, guys. I will be putting this into the... Um, sets. I don't know if I'll have the link in the description or not. Um, I'll try to once I put it in there. I'll probably put it in there first thing after I'm done filming this. But, this is going to be in our set. You guys can take this as a free model, share it with your friends, learn from it, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I'm very proud of this. I've never, I've never done anything quite this cool, actually. Um, and next up, I'm thinking... Um, a lot of people have been asking if we can make a first-person shooter game. Well, yes and no. Um, I said yes, I kind of planned on it, but come to think of it, no, because a first-person shooter, we've basically got all of it done by making this gun. Uh, yes, you need to force people to be first-person. Yes, you've got to make these to where people press buttons on their keyboard. All right, I can show you guys how to do that. Um, but we're not going to make a full-fledged first-person shooter because that's a lot of values and buying, and that'd take a lot of time. I'm sure I'd mess up a lot and then debug a lot. I, I can't take on a huge project like that. Little projects that are parts of bigger projects I can do um, on YouTube, but not that. Um, we are going to possibly work on making zombies soon. Zombies or ray casting. Um, if you guys don't know what ray casting is, it's basically just looking in front of you um, without actually making a bullet or anything. Looking from one direction all the way up to another spot. Um, 
please excuse the fact that I said One Direction. Um, and checking all the things in between, alright? So that's how you make laser guns and stuff like that. So comment below. You've got till Monday. Um, hopefully I can make videos Monday. I don't know. Um, you've got till Monday to tell me what kind of... What do you want to learn next? How to make zombies, or how to raycast, and then make a laser gun. It's up to you guys. Alright? So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like, or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.